Well, hi, and you are, and what are you going to show me? Hi, I am Z, Camp Rhythm Wave, and I'm going to show you how we clean our plates here at Rhythm Wave. So, this has got a little schmutz left on it from dinner, and um, there's a couple different things. You can go full tongue right from the beginning, or you can just use a clean finger, you know, get everything how that's do you get big. The clean? Do you lick it off, or, um, or you just try to be clean? I try to be clean. We use a we use a system of uh, we do use baby wipes beforehand and clean our hands and our fingers. Plus, we have a station where we disinfect our our dishes that I'm going to show you later. Okay. That I use to disinfect as well. But you get all the little solids to one side, and then you can just really easily, you know, one up them, and there might be some more schmutz. So just use your tongue. Get into it. If it's too dry, put a little water on your plate, let it sit there for a minute, and it'll come right off. But then, you know, you can just go down. Well, you just down. drink the extra little water on the mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, if you use water, move it around, get it all off of there, drink that water. It's just like broth of the food that you just ate, so it should be perfectly fine. Okay. And then you can go through the whole plate, licking it. If you have a bowl, it's, it's kind of harder to do with the bowl. If it's a bowl, Basically, you get as much as you can with your tongue from the edges, okay. like that. Yeah, okay. And you just go around the whole bowl. There you go. You got it. And essentially, it's clean, you know? Little bits here and there. Um, but it's great for strengthening your tongue as well. For whatever purposes you may want a strong tongue for. And my purpose, licking a plate. Yeah, we at the tape, the so, dishwashing uh, location. We are at the dishwashing location right now, which has been hit by a dust storm, so it's a little uh, dusty. Then we have um, two ways to start off. We have bleach water and we have Tymol. Tymol is a disinfectant that is um, more herbally based. It's uh, it's thyme and some soaps in there, sodium lauryl sulfate and whatnot. But if somebody wants to avoid the, the chemicals of bleach, they can go to Tymol and it's not quite as, it's a more natural than bleach uh, solution. Gotcha. Yes. And so that's one I prefer. So you start off with the Tymol. Yes. You start off with the Tymol as long as you've licked your plate. If your plate is super dirty and you haven't licked it and it's maybe covered in dust, we can take one with just water we have a little bucket that catches the gray water, you know, give it a couple sprays. Most of that comes off. And we have a strainer in there, yeah. Now, if it was still dirty um, because I didn't lick it clean enough or, you know, it got really dusty before I got a chance to lick it, I'd spray it with water. Then I'd actually go back and be like, oh, look, this is a towel that someone has used before. And it's, it's pretty much clean. It's just got disinfectant on it. So... I would use that to wipe down the plate from all the uh, anything that might be left from the dinner so that you pretty much have a clear plate. Then we go to either the thyme all or the bleach water. Once again, this doesn't really drip too much, but I just give it a couple spritzes. And then that same towel that's just got water and disinfectant on it. So it's okay to use a little bit of paper towel? It's okay to use a little bit of paper towel because generally we use like half a paper towel at a time. And if you're licking and cleaning your plate well, then you pretty much just got a paper towel with disinfectant on it. And you can use it twice, you know. You can have one other person use it. So we go through the whole thing. Now my entire plate, I even do the edge, the rim. You want to get it all because food poisoning out here is terrible. Oh, is that right? Food poisoning out here is one of the worst things that I've ever had happen to me out here because I got food from somebody who was not really good at, at taking care of their food. So be wary about who you accept food from out here on the playa. So then, pretty much once that's done, it's all disinfected, but I don't want it to taste like thyme all or bleach when I'm done. So I come back, give it a couple spritzes of water. So that's just water. That's just water. Yeah. Just water. And that's, you know, a couple of sprays, you know. Okay. It just drips into there, and uh, you can take another paper towel if you want to be slightly superfluous with your paper towel usage, or you can just let it dry. 
In our camp, we all take care of our own dishes. We bring our own plate, we bring our own bowl, we bring our own utensils, we clean them ourselves, and we bring them back to our own camp. So that way, nobody is overloaded. And the collective dishes used to make the dinner, we all you know, take shifts in, in cleaning. Which sometimes, as, as you can come over here, we will have another thing full of water and a scrubby brush if one of the pans that we've cooked with has a bunch of stuff in which somebody might not want to take the giant pan and lick the entire thing. So we will use a little bit of water to, to scrub that stuff off. Is that gray water? Or this is gray water. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely gray water. Chicken? That was a good dinner, by the way. That was a really good dinner. Yeah, thank you. It was delicious. I, that's, that is what I, that's what I wouldn't exactly like. However, now, what I would do with this is I would take a squeegee and I would squeegee the entire thing into a corner and, and utilize that as best I could. I mean, I like to eat as much as I can. <laughs> so if there's a little bit of leftovers, you know, I would take this sauce, add it to some of this um, rice and beans right there. And then yeah, but can someone can't just walk? Someone can't just walk up and put their finger in there because would it possibly have bad stuff on it? Yeah, we wouldn't want to just walk up and put their finger in there. This is you know this is from uh, the chicken that we made. So if this went more than the evening, I, I wouldn't have it. You know, I would squeegee this all into the corner and then put it on some rice and put that in a cooler so that it stays below you know hopefully below 40 degrees, which is um, officially declared hygienic. If it's below 40 degrees or what was it, above 120 degrees, then it's it's safe to serve. Uh, so, serve safe certification. Woo! So Z, uh, finally, yes. uh, the, the concept between the dishwashing system is to use as, as few fossil fuels or natural um, products? Or basically, it's to cut, mostly it's to cut down our water usage. Instead of having three big bus tubs with varying levels of clean and dirty water in them, which either has to be carted out, or um, which either has to be carted out, or it has to be um, evaporated, which takes space. You have to take, you have to have a huge evaporation pond to uh, to get rid of that water, or you have to put it in a barrel and pay to have it pumped out, which is what we do now. Um, which is great because it does support a local service here in Nevada of the, the guys that come in and pump those things out. We don't have to deal with a really dirty, mucky pond full of tons and tons and tons of gray water, which, you know, lots of people have their, their food stuff water going to the gray water too, and then it's just not sustainable. So this way we use a very small fraction, like a tenth of the water that we used previously, if not uh, less water than we previously previously used when we were on the full water system. So it's mostly for reducing gray water and, and just making everything a lot easier for everybody here. Any, any last thoughts to the folks out in TV land? Um, I don't just lick my plate here at Burning Man. I lick my plate at home. I don't have the same exact system here, but we don't just have to reduce our gray water usage, or we don't just have to reduce our, our water usage in general because we're here at Burning Man. We take these principles and the things that we learn and we take them into the world. We learn how to reduce our consumption, how to be more in alignment with, with being ecologically sensitive and, and minded, not using tons of paper-based resources and tons of water, especially in California, coming from California where we're experiencing a crazy drought. Um, Every day, I lick my plate clean. I go to the sink, I use a sponge and water and just pretty much wipe it down, rinse it and dry it. And I barely use any water at home. So um, the things that we learn out here, we take into the world and we share with everybody and hopefully make it a better place. I find I'm eating more mindfully too, uh, yeah. not having any leftover on my plate. I don't have to do as much licking or messing with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you, when you portion yourself out, which uh, we like to do here. We go through a couple of rounds of, of dinner. You know, first round, you just take what you know you can finish from your plate, because then you don't have to squeegee the food off. We have a, uh, a composting system where we basically um, built a big, large rack. Oh, yeah, outside. Yeah, outside. It's, a, it's basically a wooden-framed rack. Actually, could you show me you that? You want to come outside? Yeah. Let's go. 
Let's go see. Do, 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 do. All right. It's a little windy and dusty out here, but put my plate down. So here, in this lovely golden hour, we have our dehydration rack. And uh, it's actually in need of a, uh, of a raking right now. Can you show us what's yeah. underneath there? Let me uh, grab a rake. Do, do, do. So what it's sitting in here, this used to be our EVAP pond, and it was, it was as wide as it is long, and then it would go all the way to the street. So it was about uh, 16 by 24, I think. To evaporate the water. To evaporate all the water. But since we don't have to do that now, we just put it in a barrel and, and have it pumped out. Even though I think that with the water that we actually use for gray water, um, our evap pond could evaporate that. But because of the, the system, all the dust, sometimes people take advantage of having something that will will catch water and other people might add their water to it. You know, we can't control the entire city. So we went to this, this system because it felt more sustainable. And under here, we have all kinds of our dried foods. So preferably when it's not super windy, which is not too bad right now. It's a little bit windy, so I won't do too much here. But uh, yeah, this food has been on here for a couple days now and it is pretty much dry. Why are you raking it? So we rake it because um, from this side, which has the metal screen, which I would actually like to do the entire thing in metal screen, top and bottom, one layer of metal screening to, to hold all of the food and then another layer of metal screening to keep all the food from blowing away in the wind. And then it just dehydrates. Um, some things faster, you know, orange peels, little bits of stuff, but uh, watermelon rinds are the slowest, so the more you can what chop up and cut these down. It's down. Once it's dried out, I'll put it in a 55-gallon uh, contracted bag, which I think the whole entire week of composted dehyd or dehydrated food for compost will fit in one bag, instead of probably what would fill what would fill the entire 55-gallon bag full of wet gross, disgusting anaerobic compost, um, I dry out, it'll be, you know, light enough for one person to pick up and, and carry home in my truck without worrying about it dripping any juices or, or leaking onto any of my other things. It's just going to be this dry, um, dusty compost. And I take it home and I put it in my own garden. Um, if you don't have a garden, somebody does, you know, if you take it back to your hometown, somebody there will gladly accept a bunch of compost. And uh, if you have a big enough camp for a system like this, you're probably going to have somebody in camp that wouldn't object to or would actually love to take home a bag full of uh, dried food for compost. And it really works well for the garden. It's nice. You want to give a contact uh, email address? Oh, yes. Uh, well, my, my unofficial uh, email is Z, the letter Z, gives good hugs at gmail.com. So feel free to. Uh, email me or come visit me. And does and he give yeah. good and hugs? And if you need me, come get a good hug. Uh, love hug. Mm. Oh. Okay, thanks, thanks. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Button, what did you say I should call the video? Lickmaster Z shows you how to do it. Oh, wow. For several